Welcome to Canvas Tutorials, I'm Evan. Today we're gonna to look at how we can create a choice board inside of Canvas to give our students the opportunity to show their, their individuality and choose the type of project they want to complete. Let's get started. I've already created a choice board inside of my sandbox, and so I just wanna show you what it could look like. Yours could look totally different, and that's okay, but I just wanna give you an idea, um, and then we'll, we'll walk through how to build this. And so here you see I've got just a, a notice that they need to submit it to this assignment, some quick and simple directions, a banner that shows that we're doing a choice, choice board, assignment and then four different choices when i click on one it takes them to directions on how to complete that assignment and this is a page okay so let's go ahead and get started uh go over here to modules and i'm just going to create a new assignment and again new assignment and i'm going to say choice board and we'll say um, energy flow model Click into uh, the assignment, edit. Now the very first thing I want to do is I want to put a big notice at the top that reminds them that even though they're going to go to other pages for more instructions, they need to submit the assignment here. So to do that, I'm going to click right here on the grid button and I'm going to insert a single cell just like that. Uh, and then by clicking on this first button on the on the menu here, you can decide uh, does it have a border, uh, how is it aligned, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to take out, none, I'm going to make the border none, and I'm going to make the background color red. Okay, so it has no border. Now I'm, I'm going to center it by clicking here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go to 18. And I'm going to change the font color here. Don't forget to submit your assignment here. Great. That'll work. Now, uh, I'm just going to click at the very end of it and hit enter. And that takes me below it. Now I'm going to have some actual directions. Directions. Uh, today we're going to do a choice board. You know, I'm going to choice board to just draw attention to that. Uh, please select one of the following and complete according to the directions. And obviously you can put a lot more there. Um, make that heading two just to draw some attention. Now, because of the choice board, I'm going to use my choice board banner. Now, this is a, a banner that I created using the website Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Um, I really encourage you to use it. You can get a, a uh, more advanced version as a teacher. Okay. Um, but I've already uploaded it. And so I've gone to my course files and I've uploaded the image. And so all I have to do now is click here. And where it says course images now the reason why i uploaded it beforehand is because i'm going to use this image a bunch of times and so i don't want to upload it over and over and over i only want it to be uploaded one time and then use it before i uploaded it though uh, because it was a massive image um, i took this image to tinypng.com and i dragged it over here and all you have to do and i can i can i can show you how so right here here's my choice board banner um, I grabbed it, went back here, I dro dropped it on there. And what it did is it compressed it from 40 kilobytes to 13 kilobytes. And then I download it, upload it onto Canvas, etc., etc. The point of, of, of optimizing your images is that some students are going to be viewing your site on their phones with data. Um, some live out in rural areas and have low um, internet speed and so you want to optimize your pages the best you can especially if you're going to use images to make sure that everybody can access it easily and quickly uh, without using up too much data anyways so i'm going to go ahead and put this banner in here by clicking on images and course images now because i organize my files i can come right here and i can click images and i can click all and what that does is it actually shows me all of my files okay and so I'm going to go to course files 
And notice that I've, I have my choice board images in a file called choice board because I'm going to use them over and over. And there, well, there we go. Go back. There's my choice board banner right there. So we're going to click on that and it inserts it. Okay. If I want it to be uh, smaller, I can, I can uh, click on it, image options, and I can change the, the size. I'm going to, because this is huge. And I'm just going to make it, I won't make it that big. No, that's way too small. We're going to make it try extra large. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Big enough that I can see it on my big iMac here, which means it's going to be big enough on any of their Chromebooks or any other computer that they're going to see. Um, but I, I don't want that to be centered. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to say right here in alignment, center it. Good. Click after hit enter again. Now, in order to get the other four images to line up in a grid, I'm going to use a table. So once again, I'm going to click right here on this table button. And I'm going to select four cells, okay, two across, two down. And notice that it fills up the whole, uh, the whole thing. That's fine, okay. Um, but I don't want it to show a border. And so I'm going to click in this first box here, go to advance, border select, none. Background color is going to stay the same. Save. Now I'm going to start inputting my images. Same thing that I did with the choice board. I'm going to click up on the image, course image, find my images. And because I just uploaded them, they're right here, but I could go into files and find them, but I'll just go ahead and, and use them here to make it faster. Click and it's going to insert it. Now it's going to insert it in the full size. That's going to be way too big for me. So I'm going to click on the image image options and this time I'm going to make it medium size 320 by 320 big enough go into the next grid do the same thing with all four images All of these images, by the way, were also created on Canva. Um, the way I do it is for square images, I choose the Instagram post um, template because that then gives you a nice square post uh, and it gives you some good templates to work from. I created these maybe in 10 minutes. And so all the graphics on here were free. Um, and there we go. Now, before I click off of this, notice that up here, it has some options that you can embed the image or make it a link. I don't want to make it a link, um, but right here it says decorative image. Okay. Now this uh, data right here where it says create a game will be used by a screen reader for somebody that's visually impaired. And so if it is a, an option that you actually need them to know, it's not just the pretty picture that is just adding to the site or to the page, then make sure that that is unchecked. If it is just an image that it doesn't matter if they see it really, uh, then you can click decorative image. And when uh, the screen reader reads it, it will skip that message or skip that image. Hit done. Now notice that they're all kind of uh, spaced out wildly. What I want to do is I'm going to trick it. I'm going to trick this grid into being here in the center. And so what I do is I'm just going to click on each image. On the ones on the left, I'm going to tell it to align right. The ones on the left, the right, I'm going to tell it to align left. And what that does is it just forces the whole thing into the center. Okay. Now I notice that the, the border is still there. Let's take a look. No, it says it's none. So, um, cell properties. Try that. Border, none. There we go. So notice what I did there is that I highlighted. I just grabbed that first box, held my mouse down, highlighted all of it, went back up here to the grid, cell this time, and not table, but cell, cell properties, advanced, and then chose none as the border style. That makes sure that there's no border. Before I hit uh, done, I need to link these to different pages that I have instructions. Now, I'm not going to show you how to create those pages, um, but I will uh, show you how to create the link. Click on one of the images, and then while it's highlighted, come up here to the link icon right there and just click and you're going to choose course links if the directions are in your course obviously course links and this pulls up uh, all your links inside your course i'm going to find my link right there I, it's, i've already created a page that says 
choice, create a video. And so there's that. Now, before I go, I've got my, got my don't forget there. Uh, and I might even put that at the bottom again, just as a reminder. Uh, remember that you need to put in your, your points, what group it's in, that kind of thing. Submission is, is important though, because if they're gonna do a choice board, then I need to give them some opportunities to, to share it in different ways. So I'm gonna hit submission type uh, online. And now take a look at these options. I can choose text entry, website, media recording, or file uploads. You know what, for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and click all four. And I'm not gonna restrict the file types. They can, uh, I'm gonna let them submit as many times as they need to. And then I need to give it a due date. Remember, if you don't give it a due date, it's not gonna show up in their to-do list. It's not gonna show up on the calendar. Save and publish. And there we have a choice board. They come here, they click on uh, a graphic, and that takes them to choice board. And you notice all I did here on this, this is a page. Again, I put a banner uh, here. I've aligned this image to the right so that it, it uh, it's just really decorative. And then some more instructions and then the banner. Today we've looked at how to create a choice board in Canvas. I hope these videos are helpful for you. If they are, please join the community um, and make sure you like and follow these uh, this show so that you get every new upload as it comes. Have a great day.